hi there welcome to this tutorial good to have you following this uh, orion tutorial so please in our previous video we created story on orion and changed some few properties of the story settings so if you've not watched our previous video on how we came about having stories uh, let me just change it to 2d having stories like this so this is what we made in our previous video so do go to our previous video and watch our previous video to be able to follow this tutorial series so today tutorial we're going to be creating slabs so i'm going to be creating slabs so i'm going to go to slab this is my slab icon if i rove on it you see slab so this is my story too so i'm going to create this since this is one story that we are creating so i'm going to go to story one so i'm going to double click on it and go back to my story one so i'm going to click on slab this box pops up which is my slab property let me just move it away so you can see what we're doing so this is my label which is going to come up as i'm going to have panel one panel two which is my slab one slab two just like that so this is my label now this label is going to be automatic because as i'm moving it's moving with me so you or you can just also just click on this up arrow and down arrow to follow suit so this slab type is going to insert it so this my slab depth which is my the height of my slab thickness of my slab so I'm using 150 on my keyboard I'm going to enter 150 so the cover of my slab this is con cover which is the concrete cover so I'm going to make it to become 25 25 I'm going to use 25 as the minimum cover so that is it for this my slab so I'm going to go to load so I'm going to click on load tab so you can see already it's been calculated so the weight of my slab which is the dead weight is giving me 3.75 so i'm going to click on this arrow to enter value so what type of structure are you designing are you making a stairs a corridor or a room i'm designing for a room so this is a dead load that has been calculated which is your gk so to be so the imposed load you are going to uh, generate that so i'm going to right click on this particular box here to highlight then i'm going to sorry i'm going to left click on it then i'm going to right click then these values pops up now what kind of a building are you design what is your imposed load i'm using 1.5 you can go to 2.5 to use but i'm using 1.5 you can use whatsoever value you want to design but depending on the particular building and like we have a banking hall we have offices so we have different types of the uh, this imposed load so i'm designing for bedrooms and dormitories so i'm going to click on this so my imposed load becomes 1.5 my dead load becomes 1.65 so i'm done with it so slab does not contribute to flood they know it's contribute so i'm going to move this away now my cursor becomes a very uh, a large plus sign so you can see as i move my cursor it captures the panels so it captures the panel you can see as it moves it captures the panel it captures the panel because each panel must start from a defined grid to at most start from a defined grid where there is a beam to another point where there is a beam now i have a beam here i have a beam here i have a beam here i have a beam now there's a grid here there's a grid and there's a grid there's a grid here so as i move my cursor it gives me the panel so i don't need you can just go just click on the middle now i'm going to start from this panel because this is my stairwell we don't need to put a slab here so i'm going to start from this my panel and just click on the middle so you can see what it is it is one s one so h equals to 50 
which denotes that the depth of my slab is 150 and this is on this is my first slab which is on story one so this is my yield line which is this dotted red line let me zoom in so this is my yield line and uh, this is my slab type which indicates that it is a two-way slab because this goes this way and this goes this way so it's a two-way slab so i'm going to go over to this and i'm going to do the same this also is my slab two on story one so this also gives me my particular the value here so i'm going again to this other one so it gives me this is story this is slab 3 150 so i'm inserting the next one so also a two-way slab so i'm going to come back to this this is a very small panel and certain it's a two-way slab so it's slab 5 and so I just just click on the middle so when you click on the middle it's done so this is now a one-way slab so this slab is different from this slab now this is a one-way slab because this side is longer than this side so it's a one-way slab so i'm going to click on this slab seven is a one-way slab i'm going to click on this slab eight is a one-way slab these are the yield lines so i'm going to go over to this i'm going to click this this becomes a two-way slab slab nine comes a two-way slab i have this click on it you have a heel line slab 10 just go over just click the middle you can just click the middle you can just click on the middle just click on the middle and it just pops up like that so this is it now this is a stairwell i don't need to put a slab here so we have created our slabs successfully so this is how to create your slabs successfully and do all the settings that you want to do that's it guys for now to create slab on story so i'm going to go over to my 3d i'm going to close this so let me show you on my 3d how it's going to look like so i'm going to use this time my plan plus 3d view so you can see on my plan this is how it looks like so I'm going to play it I'm going to move this a little bit away so that I can see so you see so these are the slabs this ones that looks a little bit blue are the slabs so we have slabs on this first floor and this other one we don't have slabs so which is my roof so where there is no slab is roof and where there is slab is my first floor so you see orion reminds me that hey guy you have not saved so please try and save i'm going to say yes i want to save so i'm going to turn off this and i'm going to go back to my plan view now if i select any slab here you can see the slabs the blue color becomes thicker so if i select this it becomes thicker if i select this it becomes thicker now you can see on this uh this uh, uh left of us uh, screen we have 14 slabs on this particular structure we have 14 panels on this particular structures so if i click on the 14 you can see it becomes blue if i click on 10 this becomes blue the blue becomes thicker so that is how it works so you can actually put your plan view and your 3d view while you're working now if i click on this this becomes active if i click on this this becomes active now if i right click on this this becomes active and this you see as i'm uh, my cursor is on my 3d view but as i'm zooming so it's my plan view that is zooming except i right click then this becomes active so you can actually walk keeping both screen so that you see the changes we're doing now i can delete a particular slab i can just go right click on it and you see there is a delete i can just delete it now it goes off even on the 3d i can also from this 3d i can delete if i want 
I just right click on it and delete so it goes off I just delete then you see it goes off but I'm going to say no I don't want to delete I'm going to undo and I'm going to undo and I'm going to hit save so I'm going to go back to my plan view this is my plan view then I'm going to uh, just maybe just if you want to make some changes just uh, it's not too tedious just highlight just right left click and then you right click then you go to properties let's go to properties and you can change whatever properties you want to change and after you've changed it you can just update now I can decide to change the loading of only this panel I can say and just go change the loading of that panel and just go right click to a, a light then you bring up this particular uh, let me see, let me just change that one let me make it a little bit um, heavy let me say okay I want it to be two uh, let me change it to two kilonewton so I'm going to go change it to two kilonewton then I'm going to hit update so I'm going to hit update so you can I can also decide to change this particular slab properties to from general I can decide okay this one should just be 200 so this should be 200 uh, millimeters so um, let me just say 25 let's stay at 25 click update is updated now when I go to load click on load you can see it has changed the self width has changed to 5 the self width has changed to 5 uh, yeah, killer niching so you see what you can just make some few editing to this particular structure but I don't want to change anything so all should be 250 so let me check the properties to see if it is 250 so it's okay it's 150 the loading is 2 I'm going to change it to 1.5 so I'm going to left click to a light right click to bring up this then I'm going to change it to dormitories click update and it's updated and I'm going to close this box and hit save to finish my changes that's it guys on how to create slab on your structure do join us for our next tutorial